Okay, here's a quick tutorial on how to connect a laptop, a Mac laptop, to the Soundcraft UI 16 by Ethernet. I've been having some difficulty with the Wi-Fi, and so I, I said to myself, self, let's try using Ethernet. I've struggled with it, and uh, so I wanted to share my, my victories here. So the first thing that, uh, that you have to do is you have to go to the UI by wireless, click on network, go to config, put in your secret admin credentials, you click on LAN configuration, and you make sure that the LAN is enabled, put it on manual. The default here is 10.10.2.1. That's the IP of the, of the UI. That's the IP of the mixer. Okay. Now I thought DHCP would make the device a DHCP, but it's not. You have to manually set your own laptop DHCP. It's pretty simple. So after you make this change, you have to hit save and you have to restart the UI. You have to restart the mixer. Okay. So once that is done, then you physically connect your cable, uh, your Ethernet cable. Okay, so here I've got a Belkin on a MacBook Pro uh, using USB-C. Okay, so I picked 10.10.2.5. The manual actually suggested it. It's fine. Uh, you're the only two devices on this network. Okay, now it says 255, 255, 255.0. So um, this was preset it a little bit different. So uh, hit apply. So I've got an IP in the same class C range, 10.10.2. So they're dot one, I'm dot five. I've got an ethernet connected. So after the UI's been rebooted, you connect your cable, you configure, manually configure your IP address, boom. But then the last but not least, you have to uh, browse to it by IP address. We know that it's 10.10.2.1. We just looked at it, okay? So you just type in 10.10.2.1. You may have to put HTTP in front of it. So I'll do that. HTTP colon slash slash. Hit enter. It comes up really fast. And then I hit this. Loads really fast. Now it's detecting that you're on a, a new interface, so you may have to reset your um, you, you may have to reset your view groups because it doesn't know who you are, uh, which is fine. should only take a little time. Anyway, that's how to connect by Ethernet. So I'm going to do some gigs with Ethernet only and, uh, and see if I have any, uh, any issues and any dropouts. All right.